Hi, I'm Max Brantley. It's Thursday, July 10th, and I'm going to talk about news on the Arkansas Times website today. Last night, Leslie Peacock provided a lot of coverage of the Little Rock Tech Park Authority Board's decision on where to, where to put the new technology park, and they chose the block in the heart of downtown between 4th and uh, Capitol Avenue. A lot of excitement about the site. You can find more about that decision on the blog, but the decision also raises a lot of questions and they nearly all boil down to money. You'll find on the blog today an awful lot of questions about just exactly where the wherewithal for this project is going to come from. Elsewhere today in Arkansas, a group called Southern Progress, uh, led by former Clinton White House people, have established a beachhead in Arkansas. Their aim is to elect Democrats to office. Yes, they still think that's possible. Part of their technique will be using voter information, not just voting history, but the kinds of things that, say, an Axiom uses to identify types of people for merchandising purposes to reach with political outreach. We'll see how that goes. On the Republican side of the aisle today, the Arkansas Republican Party is trying to paint James Lee Witt, of all people, as a dangerous radical because he's been endorsed by California Congressman Mike Thompson, whom the Republicans call a dangerous gun control radical. Well, Mike Thompson happens to be a co-sponsor with a Republican of a bill that, hold your breath now, would close the gun show loophole and require background checks even from people who buy guns at gun shows. Most people favor this, not the Republicans. I guess they think gun violence is a good thing because that's the main thing on Mike Thompson's resume as chair of a committee that wants to do something about it. Elsewhere, interesting story from Chattanooga. Chattanooga is trying to override a state law that's very similar to one in Arkansas that prevents local utilities from getting into the cable and, significantly, the broadband business. There's a big fight in Arkansas now about whether the state can get into the broadband business and expand its existing network into public schools. On the local scene, uh, gunshots were fired last night at the very popular movies in the park series, an outdoor movie uh, program at the Riverfront Amphitheater. It's prompted the Little Rock police to say they're going to step up security. You get a hot night, you get teenagers, you get unruly unreal, people. Sometimes that means people are carrying guns, but of course Republicans want more of those around. And finally, just for fun, if you're a real estate junkie, last night we posted a nice video of uh, Brett Bielema, the Razorback football coach's house that's for sale in Madison, Wisconsin, a nice lakefront place. If you got $2.2 million, you might be interested. That's it for today. I'm Max Brantley.